citing an overwhelming amount of evidence just hours ago. A judge ruled a Carlsbad mother of three will stand trial for her husband's murder. 10 News reporter Vanessa Van Hefti is live in Vista with what Julie Harper's attorney is planning for her defense. Vanessa. Yeah, Steve, I can tell you that Julie Harper smiled and said a little prayer when she saw her father walk through the courtroom doors today. Her father testified that Julie was in an abusive marriage and killed in self-defense. On the stand, John Siak described what he called a nightmare. On August 7th, his daughter came to him with a bombshell. I shot Jason to defend myself. What happened next? I went into shock. Or I believe I did. I, I, I just couldn't get my arms around something like this. The 74 year old realtor pleaded the fifth and was granted immunity. He told the court his daughter and three grandchildren stayed here at his home the night of the killing while he secured high power attorney and former DA Paul Finkst. And news cameras were there back in August when police executed search warrants at CX Script Ranch home, carrying out loads of Harper's belongings, including this backpack that her father helped stash in his attic. In it, nearly $30,000 cash, jewelry, a will and testament, phones and passports, credit cards and IDs. Prosecutors say the stay-at-home mother shot her husband, a Carlsbad math teacher, in the back here in their cluttered master bedroom. The children heard screams and a thump. Julie had filed for divorce a week prior, citing abuse. Her father testified she was terrified of her husband. And attorney Paul Finks tried to reduce Harper's bail from $2 million to a half million dollars. The judge said no. Prosecutors argued that that bag was actually a getaway bag. They say proof that she is a flight risk. For now, she'll remain behind bars until her trial starts in February. We're live in Vista. Vanessa Van Hefti, 10 News. Thanks, Vanessa.